Viewers of the Game Hub, thank you for joining us. DLC has been a big thing for games. In the beginning, it just gave players new adventures, new missions, and a whole bunch of new skins for characters to upgrade and personalize their character and their enjoyment of game. Sadly, some game corporations have used this to market poorly done DLC or just to scam you for more money for useless attire such as skins and weapons and missions that don't even value for said price. Here at the Game Hub, I will tell you about the DLC that you should buy or the ones that should be avoided at all costs. Thank you. And now, for your feature program. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Game Hub. I'm your host, Gamer K, and like the voice said, time for another DLC review. Here at the Game Hub, DLC reviews are one of my big things that I love to do because not a lot of videos or uh, YouTubers do DLC reviews, and I think that's a bad, that's a problem. They always play the DLCs, but that kind of just ruins it, don't you think? I mean, when I review something, I kind of leave a couple things here and out, here and there, out of the review, so anyone who's interested and plays them will feel a little sense of amazement when they play it, and... Today's video is a good one. Actually, it's a twofer. But before I start, it's the month of June. Summertime is here. I can't wait to get into my swimsuit and jump in the pool on a hot, scorching day. But for today, let's get down to the digital age with one of my favorite uh, sequels, surprisingly, Watch Dogs 2. I am very amazed that Watch Dogs 2 rose to the occasion where Watch Dogs 1 fell to the bottom of the ranks. The only thing good about that game was the Bad Blood DLC, which I'll review one day. I'm not going to do it soon. But here I'm going to talk about the one of my favorite DLC series from Watch Dogs 2. For those of you who stuck around Watch Dogs 2, the DLC is damn well worth the money. Very much worth the money. It is worth every single penny. I mean, yes, the game came out two years ago, and the DLC came out two years ago. But it's still worth the play if you had Watch Dogs 2. So, let's get down to the analysis. I'm going to be starting off with the Human Conditions DLC pack, which came out in the middle of February couple about three months after the game's launch so the deal so the human conditions D dlc requ acquires three new missions new, three not missions like once you complete it it's over but in watchdogs they'll have missions where it will where it's uh well how can i explain this delicately um so Here's the start of the mission, and they will put many missions in between so you can finish. So it's an operation, but they have so many missions in it. And approximate, and the three of them are, let me get my analysis, Automata, Bad Medicine, and Caustic Progress. Now all three have three missions in each one, and they're very lengthy, which I really love. I don't like a DLC where I can beat it in le in a day, like less than an, like half a day. That's, but I did my research and the whole Human Condition DLC is at most adds three to five hours of additional gameplay for Watch Dogs 2, which isn't bad, mind you, but it's still better than some DLC. Now, much like in my Batman Arkham Knight Most Wanted DLC uh, video, these missions do unlock... After, if you haven't beaten the game, I mean, it's 2019, you kind of should have beaten it. But for those of you who want to replay it, just for, like, nostalgic reasons, I mean, I know I do that. Uh, once you download this DLC, the missions will be unlocked as you progress to a certain point in the game. One second. I need my water. Ah, jaw starts to hurt. So, once you complete a certain amount of missions, or once you get to a certain part of the game, the DLC missions will unlock, and this will be done via 
on your phone. It will show you new operation. And you'll get a phone call from Wrench, Hot Sauce, Ray, Satara, uh, to uh, talk about what's going on in the missions. Now, these missions can be done at any time. Think of them as side missions, but they are very well done side missions. Top notch. So, uh, Caustic Progress will unlock once you complete Watched, Eye for an Eye, and Hacker Wars. Automata will be, un will be unlocked once you complete the Limp Noodles uh, mission. And Bad Meta... Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Oh, and, sorry, Caustic Progress will be unlocked after Hacker Wars is done. Bad Medicine is after Watched, Eye for an Eye, and Hacker Wars. I kind of mixed that up accidentally. So, uh, what do these missions really do? So, they do keep in touch with what DeadSec's trying to do. Uh, tech companies who are using the technology to get personal data for unknown reasons. And I love that about this game. How in this DLC, they still continue that. They could have done something completely uh, different and stupid. Which, I'm glad they didn't. Let's get down to each DLC, starting with Automata. This one is very wrench-oriented. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I love this mission. Among the three, Automata is my number one favorite. For a good number of reasons. Okay, so let's start off with Noodle. Noodle is pretty much the Google of the game. So, Wrench calls us to a high-rise where he shows us a video of the keynote speech for the new smart car using PTOS. I think I... Yeah, I got that right. Using your biometrics, the car will drive you to your destination while you can enjoy your morning coffee and your newspaper. Now, this may all seem to be too good to be true, but for watchdogs, it is too good to be true. So we need to find out what they're doing with that car. So, in the first mission, we go to the factory and we have to find the data. And another thing I love about this DLC is it introduces a new type of enemy, a jammer. So, for those of you who played Arkham Knight, remember those... Uh, uh, enemies with the giant antenna on their backs that pretty much jam your uh, predator mode. Yeah, that's pretty much what it does. In a certain radius, all your t all your hacking, your RC car, the chopper, they're all negated. So you got to really take those guys out first in order to get past. And that puts a real challenge. I died about 13 times on the first mission of this game, of this DLC mission. And, and that's good. I love dying a good number of times. It, it, it keeps me focused. It keeps, sharpens my skills as I progress and decide what to do, what didn't work, what should I try different. So afterwards, we go to the guy's house and we trick him so we can get access to his computer. So I'm going to download the gist of it for you guys. What they're doing with this smart car with your biometrics is the car identifies its passenger's life score. Now that sounds bad, that sounds good, but let me tell you, what they do in this game for this is it registers your occupation, your age, your mental health, your overall health, your budget, who you vote for, and what are your aspirations, your race. And if it has to choose between you or someone else in a car accident, the one with the higher life score will get help, while the other people will not. That's what they're doing with this smart car. It's a smart car, but only for people they deem worthy of saving. Thank God no one in the real world has decided to do this, because we'd all be screwed. This is why technology nowadays is starting to get dumber. And I'm going to tell you the last mission of this... Of this, uh mission yeah it's very fun i'm not gonna give any more i'm just gonna tell you right now it's a fun mission automata is great uh the end with wrench for those of you who don't know just watch the just play the game to the end you'll laugh your ass off another reason you know what if i ever do my top 13 funniest characters in video games wrench is going on the list without a question because he's a walking meme 
Can someone please make a wrench meme, please? Uh, uh, iPhone, can you please make a wrench meme, please? I think a lot of people would love it. So, Automata, out of 10, I'm, I'm going to give them small rankings, but in all individually, I'm going to give them all an uh, individual rank. So, Automata gets a 9 out of 10. The only thing I wish they did better was add another mission. That's it. That, that's the only problem I have with all these missions. They just need to add one extra mission. Oh, and also, at the end of each mission, uh, I, I mean, after you complete the the uh, the operation, they do do the dead sec videos like they do in the rest of the game. So that I love. Where Arkham Knight didn't have Joker be in the DLC, which was a wasted opportunity, like I said, they continue to do the dead sec videos, which is great it keeps up with what they did in the rest of the game let's continue to caustic progress for those of you who played the game and finished hacker wars you all know who lenny is and i've never had to use a certain word before until she came into the picture yeah she wants to team up now so what's going on is that she's telling us is that homeless people have been disappearing. And then she talks about a company using nanotechnology in order to exp experimenting the homeless with nanotechnology in order cuz uh, evidently they can't get uh, human testing done so they're doing it on the homeless and this is causing uh, deaths, problems with them. So we find out later on that they're planning on giving us eternal life, no aging, fixing mental disease. But the cost of it is paying is paying them and giving giving them access to our inner operating systems as the video claims. Now this one is very fun. We get to see Lenny and Josh more often, which I, I love the him. He's a great character. Uh, my only problem with this mission is there's not much new that's done. Like, we don't do as many... Pu we don't do any... I mean, we still do the uh, directional puzzles, and it's more... It's more sneaking around than doing anything else for Caustic Progress, which I do love, but I do also would like some some variety a little bit in this mission. I'm, talk I'm not talking about this one a lot, because out of the three... This one's on the bot is the bo worst is the bottom on my list. It's not worse. It's just not my favorite. Yeah. So Caustic Progress is a seven out of ten. Could have done a little bit more with Josh and not just near the end of it. Uh we could have had some better areas to go to. Like um, like I think they could have done more. But it's good for what they gave us. Bad Medicine is a great, is my second favorite one, clearly. Uh, so what happened is uh, the guys are looking over some uh, computer computer tech for the hospitals that are done. In turn, find, we find out that the hospitals in the game are very under-updated. They're all running on old softwares, and that's where the BRAFTA... For those of you who know what the Brafta is, or for those of you who've watched Arrow and basically know, the Russian Mafia have hacked in to the to the uh, medical center's database and is telling us and is holding it ransom. So no one can get medication, operations can't be done, procedures can't, nothing can be done in the hospital because it's so outdated. And that sh definitely shows a great weakness in real life. Because if everything's not up to date, we can be in danger. So I love, that's what I love about this game. It's kind of fictional, but it also prevent, uh, shows real life threats in, via technology. So one thing I do love about this mi mission is the fact that we get to use the RC car more and have it hack into the database. And there's this fun little fan puzzle that it, it's really fun to do with the RC car. Anytime I get to use the RC car to do a puzzle, it, it, it just gets my mind going. It's really fun. And uh, hearing the characters use a talk a, a lot about uh, 
they do a Star Wars reference, I believe. And then after that mission, a certain old character from the first game appears looking to kind of screw with us. Because, yeah, evidently we're interfering with his business. So he agrees to assist us. I'm using the word assist very loosely because this character really doesn't care for us that much. And once we get everything done... Like, this, these missions are really good. We hack into the computers at the hospital in order to find out what's going on. There is, we uh, do stealth and combat areas at a d giant dam, which is always fun. And then we have to outrun a whole bunch of the Brafta. Then we go out to a giant party boat, hack in, kill some guys, and pretty much we release the video saying that while politicians plan to spend money to make us the most, like, a police state with the hot, most high-tech security cameras, the hospital systems are outdated, leaving them vulnerable to hacking. That's what I love about this. Oh, and for for those of you uh, wondering who this character from the first game is, I'll tell you one thing. It's not the pizza guy. If you don't know what that means, then you clearly never played Watch Dogs 1. So, Bad Medicine does get a rating higher than Caustic Progress because of how it implemented an old character into the game. And uh, the gameplay was fun. So, uh, Bad Medicine gets... An 8, an 8 out of 10. It's better than that. It's better than Caustic Progress. But it's nowhere better than Automata. Now... I'm dreading this one, ladies and gentlemen. In a world where this kind of DLC... I'm going to get right to it. This next one is a piece of garbage. No compromise. This one was released months after uh, the Human Condition DLC was released. No compromise is an attempt of being a good DLC like Human Conditions was. But it drops the ball drastically. Like, it literally... There's no one holding the ball. They just let the ball go, and they just let it fall. This is the worst... One of the worst ones I played. It adds an hour and a half. Where the other one was three to five. Oh, I'm sorry, the... the other things that they include are different skins for your outfits and your vehicles and non-lethal weapons, which, to be honest, don't really do much. They are the air shotgun and the sniper stun gun. Did anyone even use these weapons while they're playing the game? Like, they're used... They're useless. I mean, if you use them and it completely knocks the character out without killing them, I'd be okay with it. But all it takes is for an enemy to go to that character, wake them up like it's a Saturday morning, and you're waking your kid up for a Saturday morning, and that's all it takes to get them right back up. So even though you think you're, you're, you're eliminating them one by one with the non-lethal stuff, you're really just delaying the inevitable of you getting shot to hell. Now... This one has a little bit more subject, uh, adult subject matter I'm going to talk about. So, let's see. 1, 8, 18 plus. 18 and up, only for this section of the video. If you're not 18, if you're not, this is your warning. I'm going to be putting a warning on the bottom of this video for that some parts are only 18 and up. So, let's continue. So... Satara calls us and tells us that this adult film director is taste untastely doing a d talking about dead sex for one of his new videos, saying dead sex. Did you really think that hard about it? Because it's pretty much just the Walking Dead adult film series. I'm making a joke here, ladies and gentlemen, because dead sex doesn't sound very. So, we decide to teach this guy a lesson. What happens when you mess with us? And that involves crashing an adult film party. 
which in concept sounds incredible. It would have been cool to have everyone of DedSec join the party to cause a distraction, but no, we just climb a bunch of buildings and leap off and do Batman leap acrosses the rooftops to get to the party. Nothing uh, very innovative to get into the party. It's pretty cut and paste there. And then we get into the building and there are sets for the scenes of the videos. There's a, hell, there's a satanic scene. There's a space scene. And at one point we have to hack into one of those, you know, those robots during a... Uh, during a part of the game where you can control those little robots. And I swear to God, I'm not making this up. It's too stupid to make up. You are literally hacking into a robot that's been outfitted with a sex toy octopus outfit. So going through the set, we are controlling an octopus sex robot. That deserves an A plus in and of itself, considering the the, the subject here. And after after we do that, we humiliate the producer by getting him on video, being humiliated only dead set can, and we post a video. And then afterwards, we walk outside the uh, the our the our uh, game shop, and we get taken. I'm wondering what the hell is going on here. And then the next mission, we wake up in a trunk of a car. And a car crusher. And then we got to use the cameras around and, you know, complete the circuit. You know, do the complete the circuit puzzle in order to unlock the crusher. We have to get our weapons back. And it turns out that the adult film producer that we humiliated and we got information on... Turns out he's in league with the mob. We screwed over the mob indirectly, so now they're going to get rid of us. I And then, for the next two missions, we find information about them and blow up their... As we're driving down this racetrack, like where you have to go into the rings, we blow up some of their safe houses... And we get fireworks at the end. How do we go from por revenge porn to the mob? Th there's, th there, there's a big gap here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's that's why it's this one is not that great. Because it had a cool idea. And why couldn't we just continue that? Why do we have to involve the mob? We could have just done with the adult film stuff. It would have been funny. It would have been hilarious to have like little Easter eggs here and there. But yeah, this one feels underdeveloped in the most outrageous way possible. It's not terrible. Like the other, like the parts of the missions were, that I liked are hilarious and very fun. But the but the afterwards, it just feels like they just ran out of ideas, so they just decided to do that. So I can't really give a good rating for this. It's a f also the name "No Compromise" means nothing. I mean, at least with human condition, it talked about, you know, our condition with our car, with our, our medical, medical care, and the nanobots in our bodies. That made sense. This one just feels like they had an idea, and then they had some side ideas that didn't get into the game, and they just brought them over. Just because it sounds like a cool idea doesn't make it a good idea. It has to have... This is one thing I love about... I, I, I need in DLC. It needs to feel like it, like it's put together well. It needs to feel like everything connects in each mission. Like you can't go from adult films to Russian mobs for some reason. We already did Russian mob. Actually, we did the mob in one in number one and it sucked. So, Gamer K's final verdict... 
for Human Condition DLC is a 9 out of 10. I guarantee you will enjoy the Human Condition DLC. And it has a co-op side mission that I never played because I don't do co-op. It's, so it's got that going for it too. So the three the three extra missions are fun, amazing. They really dive more into into con continuing the lore of Watch Dogs 2. And No Compromise gets a good, a very good try. 5 out of 10. Play it for the first mission. Don't continue afterwards. Because you're never going to enjoy yourself afterwards. Oh my god. DLC is going down the tubes nowadays. But luckily there are DLC that are worth it. So Human Conditions is worth it. No compromise isn't really that worth it. So, and also that I know that Watch Dogs 3 is being announced at E3. Really hope we're sticking with Marcus and the gang. And please don't reuse ideas. Come up with new ideas. Give us something fun to do. Do, do a human trafficking thing. Trafficking mission. Not like in number one. Do one that act that's actually good and we can actually interact with the girls afterwards. So so it doesn't feel like we did nothing. Uh, do gun running. Do anything. Just make it better than what number one was and make it even better than what number two was. That's what I'm hoping for Watch Dogs 3. And I really hope it's not for the new system because I'm not getting another new system just for a handful of games. They had better make these games compatible with the PlayStation 4. That's that's what I hope for. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me for this DLC review. Like, comment, subscribe down below, please, so I can get more videos out. I mean, I'm getting videos out every week as much as I can, but I want more people to watch. I want more people to subscribe. Give me your opinions in the comments. Coming up next week, because it's summer, I'm going to do something that's definitely water-themed. And I hope you're ready, and I hope you have your sponge ready. Yeah, that joke didn't make sense. Next week, we get nautical nonsense with the world's most famous sponge to ever grace TV. This is Gamer K, logging out.